During the height of the Cold War, the expansive airspace over the Russian frontier necessitated the development of robust mobile surface-to-air missile platforms by the Soviet Army. These systems were not only vital for defense but were also strategically sold to allied nations and satellite parties, causing headaches for Western war planners, particularly the Americans. In 1970, the Soviet Army introduced the SA-06 Gainful, tracked mobile missile-based anti-aircraft system, primarily designed to counter low-to-medium flying threats such as aircraft and helicopters. However, recognizing the need for a more advanced system capable of engaging medium-altitude threats including cruise missiles, the Soviet government commissioned the development of a new missile system in 1972. This new system, designated as the 9K-37 Buk, addressed key design shortcomings of its predecessor. Unlike the SA-06, which relied on a single fire control radar for multiple launchers, the Buk featured its own integrated fire control radar, enhancing its tactical value. Mounted atop a track chassis, the Buk system boasted a 360-degree traversing launch platform capable of firing 4X-9M38 missiles. Following rigorous evaluation from 1977 to 1979, limited examples of the Buk system entered Soviet Army service, with formal clearance granted in 1980, designated as the 9K-37-1 Buk-1. A navalized variant, the 3S-90 Urigan, was introduced in 1983, earning the NATO designation of SA-11 Gadfly. Central to the Buk system was the 9M38 missile, later upgraded to the 9M317, powered by a solid propellant rocket motor. With an operational range of 20 miles and a defended airspace up to 46,000 feet, the missile utilized semi-active radar homing guidance and a radar-based proximity fuse with a fragmentation high-explosive warhead. The system's versatility allowed it to be deployed from various platforms, including mobile land-based vehicles, fixed installations, and naval vessels. By 1983, the Buk system underwent modernization efforts, resulting in improved radar and enhanced protection against enemy jamming signals. Subsequent upgrades introduced the 9M317 missile in 1998, prompting NATO to designate it as the SA-17 Grizzly. The Grizzly boasted enhanced capabilities, including the ability to track and intercept ballistic missiles, further extending its range, accuracy, and power. The effectiveness of the 9K-37 family was demonstrated during the South Ossetia War of 2008, where it successfully downed Georgian aerial drones while also engaging and destroying Russian aircraft. Despite its origins in the 1970s, the modernized Buk systems proved their worth against contemporary aircraft and countermeasures. Beyond Russia, Belarus and China have developed localized versions of the 9K-37 missile defense system, tailored to suit their respective operational requirements. Additionally, countries such as Cyprus, Egypt, Finland, North Korea, Syria, Ukraine, and Venezuela have deployed the Soviet-slash-Russian design systems, with Russia maintaining a significant inventory of approximately 250 units. The evolution of the 9K-37 missile defense system from the SA-06 Gainful to the SA-017 Grizzly underscores its enduring relevance and adaptability on the modern battlefield, reflecting its status as a cornerstone of air defense systems worldwide.